I'm going to share a video after this video and this is probably one of the most important videos I'm going to put in my channel this year. I spoke about last Saturday being in adoration in Nock and during adoration and I was prostrate in front of the Eucharist in Nock. There was nobody else in the chapel at that time. And what was coming to me in vision, in prayer, was um, do I see, do I see, um, and Anto Crossi, who was a good friend of mine, and that Anto Crossi would give me a call afterwards. But it was clearly, he was clearly coming to me in mind. And, uh, you know, I just remained in adoration there, comfort our Lord. I'm going to fill you in what else happened on Saturday. Now, Anto had, Ant had asked me to do something and I was kind of discerning it. But I left the, the Adoration Chapel in Knock, and I went across the road and I, I went into the, one of the second-hand bookstores, the Divine Mercy bookstore in, 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 in the main street there in Knock. Walked in there, I met a lady that I knew. We had a conversation. Then I bought a book in, the, in, in the, this store and there was a picture of our Lord crucified and Our Lady, a beautiful picture in this store. And I asked the person that runs this store, can I is this for sale and he said no 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 it's not for sale but there was um, some some he could sell me a copy but i was just about to take out my phone to take a picture of this cross and as i took out my phone and to cross he called now as soon as i saw his name on my phone i picked up the phone i said anto why are you calling me and anto said robert i was at the sink and our lord said to me three times to call you did, did i see so we were both getting the same message in prayer, him at his sink, me in ador prostration adoration, about the same thing, walk the cross. Walk the cross, to, we're going to walk the cross to Clonmac Noyce in September the, for the exaltation of the cross. There is something coming for Ireland. You know, I think anybody that has any minimal sense of spiritual life know that there is something coming. I don't know pretend to know but I know our Lord is calling us back to the faith and the people that know me the people that have seen the miracles in their life you know our Lord is calling us back to the faith our Lord isn't going to sit by as we destroy the Catholic faith in Ireland and those that should have been the leaders in the faith have failed to do so and we're not going to pass judgment on those who didn't lead but when our Lord calls us to lead, to do something, we do it. I don't know why he's asking this, but uh, Antof clearly got this. And this is all fruit of the 500 in Derry. It's all started there. And uh, it's very, it, we'll just do what our Lord is asking us to do, to walk the cross. Walk the cross. Um, and we'll have, I have more details on this. I'm just going to share you the video now that, that Anto has sent on to me. You know, both of us at the same time getting confirmation of this in Knock. You know, why would I go to confession in Knock? I come out of confession and I was about to kneel down, as I always do after confession. This is my routine. When you kneel down, do your penance, say a rosary or something in front of the Blessed Eucharist. And I get the voice, don't pray here. Pray in the, in the Adoration Chapel. And I go to the Adoration Chapel and I'm left there alone with our Lord in Ireland's Eucharistic in, in Marian Shrine. Eucharistic. The Lamb of God alone in Ireland's Eucharistic Shrine. And again, I'm not here. Um, I'm just saying this is, this is what happened to me. These are the circumstances. And that's the confirmation from Anto. He was getting it at the same time. So we'll just do what our Lord says. You know, and we'll just renew the faith in Ireland. You know, if he's, if he's asking us to do something, we'll just do it. Don't know why. Don't know why. This year is, a, is going to be an interesting year. We have the Archbishop of Armagh saying Mass on Crow Patrick on Reek Sunday. We have the Archbishop of Armagh, the success of St. Patrick, saying Mass on the Hill of Slain in uh, August, the week afterwards. And we will do in September Walk the Cross. And so listen to this video and let me let me know if you have any comments and we'll have more details as we get nearer to this date. And we'll just do what what our Lord is asking us to do. And this is going to this is what's needed for Ireland. I don't know why. 
I, I don't know why, but our, our Lord hasn't abandoned the Catholics here in Ireland. We haven't been left alone and, uh, and we just have to do his will now, you know, do his will and not question what he's asking in this simple act of walking the cross. Uh, anyway, God bless you. Take care. Pray for Ireland.